The good captain will insist that Laura never had a child to begin with, and she'll offer you a hefty sum to kill Laura. This is not only a moral choice to make, but one that comes with certain consequences. More precisely, if you choose to side with Captain Grizzly, who of course is nobody else but Auntie Ethel, she will support you during the final battle of Baldur's Gate and grant you a special invisibility ability. But of course, if you are not following an evil gameplay scenario, the right decision would be to defeat the hag and save not only Vanra, but Captain Grizzly too. Oh, not this claptrap again. Listen, Laura was here, all right? Knocking back pints like there's no tomorrow. But she was alone. I saw head nor ass of this so-called kid. And when we tried to kick her out, she pulled a knife on my front man. Bet she didn't tell you that bit, huh? I run a bar. What use would I have with some little one running around, crying and shitting? Look, I know Laura from my pirating days. She ran with Bart Black Dagger's crew. Heard they tossed her overboard when she gutted the bosun over a game of cards. Now, I'd no beef with her before this. All are welcoming the maid. But threatening my staff, claiming we took her kid, she's bonkers. <laughs> Dangerous. Next time she pulls a knife on me and mine, someone might die. Something has to be done. Gods! Do I have to spell it out for you? There is no child. Laura is mad as a box of frogs. She's dangerous. And I couldn't call myself a captain if I stood by and did nothing. I hate that it's come to this, but I'll pay a hoard of gold to whoever scuppers her. Permanently. Good. This is a mercy. I promise. Return when the deed is done. You're here. Does this mean you found my daughter? The flaming fish still have no clue. Useless twats! I'm not proud of my past, all right? I lived a violent life, but that all changed when I had Vanra. Getting the occasional drink in the Blessed Mermaid is as close as I get to the old days. As for pulling a knife, fine, I did. But they wouldn't let me look for Vanra, and I panicked, all right? How could she say such an awful thing? I... I feel like I'm losing my mind. Vanra is real, damn it. All I want for her is to be home and safe. Please! Unless you have news of my daughter, I don't want to hear it! What? If this is a joke, it's not funny. Why would Christy want me dead? Oh, God's above. You're serious.
Done. Has Laura stopped that wailing of hers for good? You actually did it. <laughs> oh, Peckle, I've missed you. Think you were the first that I didn't plan for it, Petal. I had it all worked out, you know. I was going to cut your pretty little head off and then kill Laura myself. But then you bashed the wretch's head in. So now, not only am I a fumble, but I owe you of all people. Thanks. Can't you tell, Petal? I'm practically glowing. Vanra sits in my belly growing fat with the power. A fine hag she'll make, but I need time. I need to be left alone. I know you're on a little crusade of your own, so let's come to a compromise, hmm? Walk away, Petal. And when the time comes and your back is up against the wall, you'll have the guts and glory of a hag at your side. You'll have me. What about her? You killed her sweet mummy. I'm all she has left. I can give this girl a life of power. The life of a hag. So leave well enough alone, Petal. I knew you were smarter than you looked. Here, the gold, as promised. Plus, a little extra for my favorite mommy killer. Step a toe out of line, however, and the deal is off. Bye-bye, Petal. <laughs> 